everyone. I'm going to be doing this in a couple of step process. Um, it's not going to be an all-in-one, so you're not going to see the finished product at the end of this video. Um, making just a small, obviously it's 12 foot by 24 inch. I'm sorry, 12 inch by 24 inch, so one foot by two foot. It's just going to be a small little uh, side table for my parents. Um, got to clean it, finish cleaning it out. I'll fast forward through a couple of steps here and there. I already took it outside and cleaned it out uh, once from the first time I made a table for my husband. Um, sorry, a little out of breath because standing up outside and the temperature keeps changing. Hot, cold, hot, cold, and got the sniffles a little. <laughs> so I do apologize ahead of time for that. Um, I'm going to, like I said, clean up the mold and then I'm going to be using um, this time until this is used up and then I think I found a different uh, company to go for uh, penetrating epoxy. This is specifically to get into the wood to seal it so when you actually do and get it placed in here you um, and you do your deep pour you're not going to have bubbles coming out of the wood because the wood will be uh, sealed with this. And it is so it's going to be my first time using the penetrating epoxy by Total Boat. I need to take to finish cleaning out my mold. And this is an Empire Mold. It's a HDPE mold from Empire Molds. Um, they're a company out of Canada, but there's, they sell on uh, Etsy as well. I have spots along the top because I did some top coat of some other big projects in here instead of because I didn't have at the time any kind of way other than just you know plastic and painters uh, little stands to do like top coats and stuff and lift it up off the, the bottom so I have some pieces that got up along the edges I'm just cleaning up out of because I don't want anything in here for my next layer. And before I mix up and get the wood over here, um, with any hard molds like this, you have to use the silicone mold release. There's several brands out there, and the one I have is uh, from Apel. It is this one. Apel Mold Release Lubricant. It's specifically uh, a silicone uh, release spray. So I will, like I said, fast forward you through a few spots. So once I get this cleaned up, I will uh, get respirator on, sprayed, get the wood brought over. Um, I have hadn't thought about it because I had already started my doing my videos but I hadn't started um, doing any wood projects and stuff. Summer times it's too hot, winter times it's too cold. Right now we're actually having some decent temperatures so I can actually work with wood outside. So I had done all the prep um, back in fall for all the current wood pieces I have so I don't have the footage of me debarking the wood. I still have the live edge but I did um, go through sand it uh, make sure it's completely level and flat as best as my abilities with my tools. So I'll have less to do once this comes out of the mold for um, cleanup and fixing the edges. And then you will have to do a top coat, um, like a river table top coat. That way it gives it a good hard coat and a better UV uh, resistance as well. Now this is also a slightly tapered mold. It, the sides are not straight up and down. Um, it's so it helps with when it comes time to uh, remove it from the mold. It makes it easier to get it out. My son wants me to make him a, uh, a beach tray, but not the typical way with waves and stuff. He, he just wants, um, some sand in the bottom and um, in between the river and then a uh, translucent blue on top. I'm going to see if I 
can convince him for me to put some shells and stuff in there. Not a lot, just, you know, keep it masculine, but we'll see. I'll have to talk with him some more on that, but I told him it'll be a while because he knows my limitations and abilities and stuff and that I'm a little on the slower side, especially with these bigger projects. So, And that's my oldest son. I have two boys. Okay, so this side needs to go up. Okay, that's perfect. Now if I just don't bump it. I'll set this back here. I know my bubble level somewhere in the vicinity. I just don't know exactly where it's sitting at right now. Let's see if you can get the start over here. And this is the piece of wood that is going in. So it does have live edge on it still, but all the loose bark, every little bit that's pieces that will fall off. I took chisels and stuff, took all that loose stuff off, got all the way down into all the little nooks and crannies. So I'm going to mix up the resin. So I'm going to have to set this over out of the way a moment. So I have room to mix. Okay. This is the uh, color. She wanted turquoise, but this looks more like sky blue. This is from Electric Bliss Pigment Powder. It's cosmetic grade mic powder. So this is what I'm going to be using. This is the closest match. She wanted it. She said turquoise, but then she said she wanted it to match her couch, which is definitely a sky blue. I have my respirator on because I got to spray and then do the uh, stuff. So. I'll move this here in a moment. Get this moved out of the way. calculator for total boat calculator and this is a good way if you have problems trying to figure out how much resin you're needing and you know square molds, rectangle molds, and I think they even have a spot that um, yeah, for round or cylinder molds too, so you could put that in there. This is for uh, different. Preparation. Yes, it's completely dry.
because it's got about a 20 minute uh, working time. This does not get mixed yet. This won't be until I do the deep pour. This stage here is just preparing the wood. But I just wanted to show you that this is going to be the uh, color that I'm using. I don't think it even says the name. I'll have to look it up. Pretty sure I got that on Amazon. I'll have the links in the description. And thank you for all my subscribers. This is going to be, let's see, one, two, three. Well, this is going to be my fifth. Wooden resin uh, table and tray. I've done three, three trays. This will be my second table in this size. So, gloves on. And we shall start with three ounces of tea. plastic get up out of there I'll make sure that's good and cleaned off so I don't transfer any part B into my part A. And I gotta open the next bottle. Okay, and I need something that will bring up the height of this one. A couple molds so I can get a little better view. Very, very liquidy for part B. And this is not a deep pour resin, it's a penetrating epoxy. It's specifically to soak into the wood to stop, uh, help prevent bubbles from coming out when you start doing your deep pour. So we've got our first three ounces. And I've got to have that nice closed. Move out of my way so I don't accidentally grab it again. And I've got to open up part A, the resin. So that's good and cleaned off again. Battery's starting to go on me. stuff out of the way as I can possibly get it all out of the way. And don't need that in there. Let's see, three, and I need nine, so that'll put me 
to 12. that down to about four minutes so that'll be good to mix. Put this set down here. These molds are not going to be used out of the way. And do like you do with any other resin. Stir thoroughly, scraping sides, scraping bottoms. you can hear me all right. I can't, uh, I'm using the, the new webcam camera, so I can't uh, hook up the mic to it. I'll have to do some testing later to see if I can get it somehow uh, hooked to the computer itself, because this is a add-on webcam. My computer did not have a webcam when I bought it. just supposed to be about two minutes and I've been doing it for a minute now. Other than bubbles, it's starting to already go clear. It's a lot thinner than I was expecting, but I guess you'd have to have it that way to be able to work in to soak into the wood. Crimping already. Small pans. I'm going to scrape the bottom. You can it. hardly possible to find a completely flat bottom. That is really a pain. But it's so nice that they actually have one. Paper is nice, but the bottom needs to really be flat. Let's see, how does that work? Okay, other than, like I said, mixing in bubbles. They seem to be rising really well. This is not a casting resin. This is literally a coating, penetrating type resin. So you cannot cast with this. You will call it a flash cure. went for about three minutes and now I'm going to go get all the stuff I need double check my uh, levelness before I put everything in and start coating it all right. so we're going to do everything all in the mold Oh yeah, that's good. Really I'm gonna start on the bottom piece, and I'll just have to kind of sort of 
maneuver around as best as I can and I'm going to grab and put on my actual uh, apron here. I do hope I'm coming in loud and clear on this. So I just literally have like a silicone uh, barbecue basting brush that I bought from um, the Dollar Tree. And I keep it with my resin stuff so I don't get mixed up with food stuff. Yeah, this stuff degasses really nicely. I'll have to actually check out their uh, their epoxy. Wonder if it's anything anything like that. It's not what not here. Come on to here. <laughs> All right, so through here. to get the sides too but I'm just working on the bottom right now get this wood sealed in really good and I forgot to mention because um, I've already done this but I have a moisture meter that I bought because I do a good bit of uh, products with the wood. So you want to make sure if you're going to do anything bigger than like jewelry and stuff that's not for your, that you're, you might be selling or anything like that, make sure you get a good moisture meter and read up to find out the amount of moisture allowed in the wood um, to keep uh, so it won't crack. Um, down the line because you that's the last thing you want to spend all this time and money buying the wood buying the resin doing the time of cleaning and prepping everything and have your stuff crack on you if you didn't uh, have all the the moisture out and I got something here I get I don't know what it is but get that off
coat. This was way too much for just a coating of this. And I only estimated one side. I didn't even do two sides. I'm going to set that down and see if I can't find just some very, very thin stuff to pour that into so we're not wasting any. And I'll have to grab some new gloves because these are polarized. Okay. So I will do that off camera and we'll be back for the next step. Thanks.